How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. And 1984, the Terminator's released. And the Terminator is a monumental sci-fi film. Some years later, seven to be exact, in 1991, Terminator 2 is released. And by and large, the consensus is that Terminator 2 Judgment Day is easily one of the greatest, if not the greatest, action sci-fi film of all time. It, you know, it's up for debate, but it's it's up there. For real, for real. Um, and so, I mean, you already know it's a foregone conclusion that we're going to get video games based on that film franchise. Based on that film particularly. And... We got an arcade game from Midway, um, a, a shooter, gallery shooter, machine guns on the thing. Uh, arcade One Up made a made a cabinet based on it. It's a pretty good game. Um, the home ports, though, the home ports of that game were mindless fun or whatever. They get boring quick. The then there was another game based on Terminator 2 that was released on home consoles. And the good folks at LJN published it. The good folks at LJN could have kept this. Because it's absolute drivel. Like to hear talk like hear me talk about the NES version for a sec? I got you. Today, we're gonna take a quick look at T2 Judgment Day. Alright, so it hits the thing, the good part about this game, it hits all of the plot points, major plot points from the film. Um, the T800 gets clothes and weapons from a bar, uh, though they. They figured out, they did a workaround, so you're not walking around naked in this one. Um, there's this, the motorcycle chase. There's the hospital scene where you rescue Sarah Connor. Stuff like that. The, the Tech Noir uh, Club. All that stuff. All of it's in there. And by and large, it, it, it's all captured pretty well. The problem is that the game ain't good. Um, you have to punch out most of these guys in the first level, right? And you, <laughs> it takes about eight or nine punches for the T-800 to knock out a human biker. Explain that to me. The boss at the end of the first level looks like Japanese, looks like FMW wrestler Jason the Terrible coveralls, a weird, like, face looks like he has on a hockey mask, weird gray boots. It, it's it's strange, and it's sloppy looking, and the character, that character sprite is, like, twice as big as the T-800. Um, level two, you are in a, mo in a motorcycle chase, where you're on a motorcycle, and you're being chased by a semi truck that's being driven by the T1000, um, and if you don't know better, you don't realize that you have to shoot the gate to get through the gate to get to advance in the level. Um, you also don't realize that you have to, on first play, that you have to shoot backwards at the truck to propel yourself forward. It's it, it's sloppily handled. Um, then you got the third level. After you have promised John Connor that you're not going to kill anybody, you have to um, you have to kneecap all of these all of these guys in the hospital, so you're not committing murder, and you can effectively rescue Sarah Connor. And on and on and on until the final battle against the T-1000 in the Foundry. And it's all very blah. It's not 
very good. It's not very well done. Um, some of the cutscene stuff looks good, but gameplay wise, this is dreadful. Um, software creations tried, but I don't understand why. Why we needed this. Why we needed this when they could have just stuck with the arcade game, ports of the arcade game. We would have did much better with that. Um, but yeah, this is not a good video game. Also, it doesn't have the Terminator theme in it. I don't know why none of the home ports of Terminator, to, of any of the Terminator games, have the theme music in them, except for the Sega CD game. I don't even think the Genesis game based on the first Terminator had it. It's weird. But whatever, man. This is a, this is a bad game anyway. You shouldn't be playing it. Anyway, if you decide you want a copy of T2 Judgment Day for the NES for some inexplicable reason, $10 to $15 will handle that for you. Um, yeah, $10 to $15. I wouldn't pay that because it's not a good game. Uh, it's actually a pretty bad game. It's not as bad as it's not so bad that you should get paid for a cop for owning a copy. You shouldn't get reparations for this or be given a coupon for it. But it's still a pretty bad video game. Thankfully, it doesn't cost a whole lot. $10 to $15 for a loose card on the NES is perfectly fine for a piece of crap. Because it ain't my money, it's yours. Have fun with that, baby. This has been the 8 Bit Animal, and I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, quick question. You ever hear something that sounds so bad that it smells funny? That's the title screen music for this game.